observe all that transpires here. But I do not, cannot, will not interfere. Rod Serling was very much um, in my head when I when I first learned of what the Watcher's role would be here. I mean, he was Rod Serling was so cool and so mysterious and smart and um, authoritative, and you know, he, he was just he was just he was just casting spells uh, in a way that. Um, that I, I I would love to kind of approach uh, a, a bit with this character, if only through my voice. No logic, no reason, no explanation. Just a prolonged nightmare in which fear, loneliness, and the unexplainable walk hand in hand through the shadows. He's also, and I think Rod Serling was too, the biggest fan of those stories that he was telling. As, as passionate as fans were, um, still Rod Serling was the master of them, you know, and they, um, he was defined by them as as he was defining them. And the Watcher too is defined by these stories he's telling. He's defined by these people that he's observing. Without them, he's really in some way incredibly lonely, um, um, but also maybe he doesn't exist. Maybe he exists because they exist. And so, and for that reason, he is, he's uber fan. Um, so, fans as passionate as they are for this stuff can um, observe through his eyes and when they do they discover these other realms that they that they might have imagined but never have never experienced before so i, I guess maybe, maybe in some ways he is marvel's rod surly but he opens doors in a way i think that that fans are going to be um are really going to be excited about i think he has a sense of justness and justice the, and balance i think as he observes he observes to to ensure that the order of the universes is as it must be hmm. um and for the most part things uh, un, unfurl as they should but there are temptations that arise for him to do more than observe. And uh, I think I think that's true for fans. I think there are fans who have who have played the watcher already in terms of imagining what if, imagining other outcomes, imagining um, that's what's so wonderful about these uh, these films and these stories is that they're so expansive that they can be inclusive of 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 everyone's imagination um and 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 i found for example with westworld is that fans will go off and write whole narratives um it, you know on reddit literally and in their imaginations that we hadn't even considered and they really become a part of the storytelling likewise with um with the marvel stories fans have been doing that forever and so this will satisfy that you know that urge uh, within them in a in a in a really uh, I think gratifying way. Every universe is different. It's a big multiverse, and the Watcher is everywhere and has been everywhere observing. So in some ways, he's already there. Uh, whether or not he will become more there remains to be seen. Journey to face the unknown and ponder the question.